to my channel. It's your girl Sienna Nicole coming to you guys with another video. I know I look a little crazy right now, but as you can see by the title, we're gonna be doing some knotless box braids, okay? So I'm not gonna talk about it. We're just gonna get into it. Um, I'm gonna be using uh, the Janet Collection hair. As you can see, it's this green pack, uh, pre-stretch braiding hair. I prefer um, Expression braiding hair, but this is the only brand that they had at the hair store that I went to. Um, so this is what I went with. It's actually been working out great so far. So we're just gonna stick with using it. And I have it in the color 1B. I don't know if it said it at the top, but. Yep, color 1B, 54 inches. Um, this is a braid stand so you guys can see. This is just the braid in the back. I didn't add any, like to the bottom. That's just all from just braiding it at the top. So this is the braiding hair that I'm going to use. Um, I have my jam, shining, uh, shining jam for to slick the hair into the little section. I'm going to be using a rat tail comb with this type of rat tail with like the needle tip. Um, it works great for parting. Um, I got me some clips and that's it. So without further ado, uh -oh, a little comb got stuck. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm going to section the hair. Um, I'm not a professional by any means. This is literally only my second time doing this. So, what you see is what you get. So this is like one little piece of hair that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna take out three sections, three pieces. And I'm gonna show you guys how I'm going to braid it in. And these are gonna be like medium large braids. I didn't wanna be sitting here all day. Um, it's actually gonna turn into like a two day process for me because it's about four o'clock. It's 4 12 right now. And I'm not gonna be braiding my hair all day. I have to cook dinner and everything. Um, as I said, I do look a little crazy because I did like pre um, pre part my hair. So I have like four sections in the back and then like four sections on each side. So that's why I look a little crazy, but it's all for a good cause. You'll see how it's gonna come out. So I'm gonna, I just have this section like rubber band. So this is how big, if you guys can see, this is how big my sections are. The first section I did was pretty big, three sections. I think I'm gonna make this one four braids in this section. So yeah, let's get started. First thing I wanna do is start by putting some shine jam on the part. And let me turn so you guys can see. Putting some shine jam on the part. Just so I can separate the sections. And then I'm gonna just take a clip and put whatever is at the top, just uh, just so I can just keep it all like separate. Now I'm only doing this with one mirror. Oh gosh, couldn't stop spinning. <laughs> I'm only doing this with one mirror, so um, I'm kind of just gonna guesstimate my section as I parted. Okay, so this is what I have. A little bit okay again I went to double check in my bathroom um, just to make sure that it was okay and it looked pretty good so I'm just going to go ahead and take some jam and kind of just feel around and just make sure I get it around the whole entire perimeter and kind of just comb everything into the middle now when I do the braid and I hope you guys can see this very well. Just make sure everything is kind of clipped out the way. When I do the braid, you start off with like a normal braid. You got your three sections. You're gonna do one, and then you're gonna do another. So that's like just one full braid. And then I'm just gonna take my first hair, my first uh, section of hair that I split off, I'm just gonna add it in and grab it with my index finger and my thumb. And then I'm just going to braid it in. Do one, and then do another. And then I'm going to do the same thing. You wanna make sure that it's tight. 
do one and then do another grab my hair and add it in and then braid it and I do that a few times Then I can bring it to the front. And then complete. I'm going to add some shine gem as I go down. So that way my hair can just blend nice into the braiding hair. Then I'm just going to braid it all the way down, adding the gem as I need it. and just braid it all the way down like a regular braid. It's so, it seems hard, but it's so simple. Probably can't see. I'm gonna take like a small piece of the hair and I'm gonna make a knot at the bottom just so the braid can stay in place. So to do that, I'm just gonna take it like this, small piece at the end of the braid, wrap it around my thumb, and then pull it through. That is so much easier if you have nails, but I don't have any nails. Just pull it through super tight. You see how it's sticking up now? It'll go away once we dip it. So that's just how you tie the knot at the end. And that was one break. You guys will just go in and see me do various parts of my hair just so you can see how I do the braids. Um, I didn't really wanna have to tell you guys how to do it and it's a little spit up, but you should still be able to see the technique I did to get the braids done. Um, so just watch it and I hope you guys enjoy.
um, this is where we are before I dip and trim the hair and put any mousse on the hair. I'm just waiting for my water to get completely done. This is, you guys, it looks so good. This is where we are right now. I'm done braiding. I might go back in and fix one braid. I have like a really big braid right here, but I kind of don't feel like going back in to fix it. This is how long they are. Oh, you can't see. They're pretty long, but again, I gotta go in and I have to clip some of the ends. Okay guys, so I'm all done. This is what the finished hair looks like. Let me spin so you guys can see. This is the side, one side. And then here's the other side. And then let me spin around to the back for you. I'll stand so you guys can try to see how long they are. So they are about waist length. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I only used three and a half packs of hair. Um, so not that much hair at all. Come through Janet Collection. Cause I have a full, I think I bought seven packs. So I have three packs left. I just ended up throwing the rest of the half a pack away because it was all tangled up. But use three and a half packs of hair. It only probably took me, so I started recorded at 412 yesterday and um i was done i added and i cooked dinner and everything i was done by like 9 10 o'clock so it didn't take me that long maybe four hours five hours um again i have to not start cooking i was doing other stuff i actually ate dinner so it didn't take me that long um yes i'm very satisfied with the results that i have um oh after i finished before I went ahead and I dipped them in hot water and then I put mousse and then I sprayed this little bit of got to be glue just to hold everything in place. Just a little tiny bit, you don't need a lot. So yes, that's that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. Um, watch my past videos if you haven't watched them already. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. Hope you guys have a happy new year um, and thank you. <laughs>